it's Chris Midwest Bass Hunter out here. It's hotter than heck. Uh, it's pretty early in the morning yet, but it's super hot, super windy. Uh, it's gonna get super hot today, like in the mid 90s. Um, so I'm out here at this gravel pit. It's super clear water, and um, the water temp is like 80 degrees, what I'm showing right now. So the water is getting up there. It's getting pretty warm. We're gonna, with the wind and the sun the way it is, I'm gonna start uh, throwing a, a spinner bait. Um, actually, I got a new one here. I'm gonna try it. It's a Booyah Bait Company. It's called a Tux and Tails, and it's kind of a, it's kind of a light color, so it's good for clean water. Uh, it's not really that dark color. Uh, but then it's also had, it's got Colorado blades on it, but they're gold, so um, it should be a little quite, you know, it's gonna be real flashy. So we're gonna start with that and see if it does any good. If it doesn't, we'll switch it up, try something different. Um, Usually on a day like today, in water like this, I like to use willow blades, double willows. But uh, I think this will, might do the trick as well. So we're gonna throw this around a little bit, see if we can uh, snag a few bass. We know there's good ones in here, so hopefully we'll do well. So I got my spinner bait tied on. This is a good looking bait. I'm not gonna put a trailer on it because it kind of has this, uh, these extra long part of the skirt. It's kind of like a trailer. We'll see how that lasts because that's just under there, under the rubber band. So who knows, a couple fish, that might be completely gone. We're gonna try it. So I like to fish my spinner baits on a uh, medium or medium heavy rod. This is a Fenwick Ironhawk. It's actually probably, I think, maybe designed for a walleye, this rod. But uh, it's medium heavy, fast. Um, it's nice and light. So for me, it's got a lot of bend to it. And um, for me, it's, it, hel it helps to not um, pull the bait out of the fish's mouth. Um, gives them a chance to kind of set the hook on themselves. Um, the other thing I like, I like to fish uh, a lower gear ratio reel, so not low, but kind of in the middle. This is a 6.4 to 1. It's an Abu Garcia Aura SX. And um, I tend to reel too fast with moving baits, so I kind of like to use a, a slower speed reel. Um, and then I like fluorocarbon line for, uh, for uh, you know, spinner baits or other moving baits. This is, uh, I think, 17 pound line which maybe is a little heavy, but it, it works just fine. So we're gonna start chucking this thing around and see if we can catch some bass. There's also pike in this lake, so they like spinner baits. We'll see what happens. We might catch a pike or two. These geese keep following me around. They like freaking chew at my line and my fishing rods. There's a fish. Well, that didn't take long. I don't know, you don't feel too big. He's gonna jump. Oh, it's a little pike. Yep, a little pike. I knew we'd catch a pike or two out of this place. These dang things are so dangerous. When they're small, they just flop all over. All right, dude. <laughs> he's freaking pike. Oh man, he's got it all wrapped around his face now. I'll stop it. I don't want to go to the dang hospital because of you.
man, he totally thrashed everything. Freaking dumb pike. There we go. Safe way to release a pike. A pair of pliers. They're aggressive though, they're fun to catch. They're better when they're bigger, because if they're bigger, they're not so freaking dangerous. Get out of here, geese. What are you doing? Freaking pike. Right, ducks? You gotta think the same way. They'll eat your young. Get off me. There's a fish. Feels decent. More of it's a pike. No, it's a bass. Pretty good one. There we go. That's what we've been trying to catch. Bass. That's a beauty. Ouch. Hooked myself. There we go. First fish, first bass of the day. Caught one little pike. Ate that spinner bait. See if we can catch a few more. It's been really slow. Chewing on my boat. What are you doing? There's a fish. About time. It's been a struggle today. That feels like a pretty good fish. Yep. Just a small bass. He felt big because he was in all the junk. They've been following me all day. <laughs> They're not bothering me. There we go. That's a fat one. All right, I'm calling it. Uh, it's been a really tough day. Just a few fish on spinner baits, two different spinner baits. Just super slow, I couldn't get anything to bite. So I tried a couple different things, tried to swim jig for a little bit. No luck, thought maybe 
you know, a little less noise and commotion might do it. And also mess around with a crawdad, soft plastic crawdad. No luck. So the highlight of the day was these stupid little dudes right here. So these are two Canadian geese, really young ones. Um, and I actually, some people came up, you probably heard them in the video, and they just released these dudes yesterday. Cause they, uh, they found a couple eggs. They didn't have a mother, so they, uh, they raised them and they let them loose. Well, obviously they're not scared of humans. And these freaking dudes keep chewing on my stuff. So that's kind of been the highlight of the day, these guys. I guess their names are Lilo and Sky, which is, uh, yeah, whatever. So I don't know if they'll be hanging around here or if they'll uh, grow up a little bit and fly off. I don't know. They said they were about two months old or so, so they're not very old. Shows you how big a goose gets in a small amount of time. All right. So I gotta get out of here where, before these geese eat my kayak. Um, thanks for watching today. Uh, make sure if you're new to my channel, you subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss anything. We'll see you next time.